All right, let's go to the board. Steve Kornacki standing by. Steve, I don't know if you've been to bed. Steve Kornacki, what do you have? We can give you an update on that Georgia situation here. The votes come in. Once they start coming in in Nevada, they come in fast and furious. This is a new development. This is a new dynamic. This might have been the single biggest surprise of the night here. You can just show who's winning. You could just show what the percentages are, but I think what the board enables us to do is to really zoom in. And I think it's one thing to just say one candidate won and one candidate lost, but I think this allows us to get to the why. Steve Kornacki, and um, I, I do the numbers, the results on election night. Go ahead. Excellent. This is one of our simulations ahead of election night. Uh, you know, in primary season, a lot of the times it's figuring out technical stuff, colors for candidates, making sure the big board's working. I'm Adam Naboa. I'm a senior producer here at MSNBC, mostly assigned to uh, Steve Kornacki and, and the big board for elections. Mostly? I guess 100%. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. I mean, so you're looking right here. Look at this. Sometimes if, you're, if you watch our coverage, all night, you will probably hear me at some point, like I'll be standing at the board on the air and I will say, Adam, where did that come from? Let me check one thing, my producer, Adam, was the vote flipped? Mm. Is that right, Adam? Nine, nine That's percent. not all of Rockdale County. No. People might wonder well, okay, well, who is he talking to. It's because Adam is in my ear, and he's about 20 feet behind the board. He is sort of the first alert system he's got set up behind the scenes. You are watching data come in kind of the way you would on election night, so it gives you a sense of what some possible patterns are, what some possible things to look for are, what the timing could be in terms of like where you're gonna start to get results from and when. So another uh, Republican uh, losing in a Clinton district. Wow. But there is a data provider that works with NBC. They've got folks in precincts and, and counties and states all around the country who are collecting the vote as it comes in. And then they are, as soon as they're getting that vote, they're communicating it, they're transmitting it to us. They are our main source of vote. When you see uh, suddenly, you know, if you see gray on this map right now, it means we don't have any vote from that county. When you suddenly see a color pop up in one of those boxes, it means we suddenly got votes that came in and we can go see what they are. It's good, this is the, it's the district, so it's called gerrymandering. <laughs> we can show the trends geographically, we could show the trends demographically, we could say, hey, it's a particular region in a state, a particular county, a particular city. There's a particular area of the state where one demographic group is particularly well represented and explain what is going into the victory for a candidate, explain what is going into the loss for a candidate. Josh Braun, uh, I'm Senior Director for uh, Data Visualization with NBC News. Basically, my role here is to use technology to tell stories better for our audience in a way that takes the knowledge of our on-air talent and shows it off. Any election night we go through, we run through multiple sims and it, uh, making sure it behaves the way it's expected to behave, making sure that we're seeing data where we want it. Uh, little things like candidate color and headshots are appropriate, spelling is correct and everything. So that on election night, all we're worried about is understanding the data as it's coming in. More and more counties around the country, county board of boards of elections around the country are getting much more sophisticated um, with the data that they provide real time, and sometimes breaking it down with real sophistication. Our friend and colleague Steve Kornacki at the big board. And if you're interested in election results, election data, understanding congressional races, Senate races, House races, governor's races, it's a good time to have that interest because the amount of information that is available right now um, to anybody out there who's interested in this stuff um, is, is just vastly greater than it was a decade ago, 20 years ago. You could find some old election night broadcasts. They did a good job, they did as well as they could, but it's primitive compared to what we're able to do today. If you just stayed with these simple boards, you wouldn't have those problems. Those, those high flute computers, Tom, this is the answer. Get it right. You could do a lot to teach yourself just with all the information that's available you know, out there. We need Steve Cornell. Oh, right, yes, of mm -hmm. course. He's the best.